Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I'm the watchman on the wall, Nikki Hall. Listen, I need to do this quick, urgent message. Urgent. This message is for shepherds and the flock. Shepherds hoarding against the flock. Let me tell you something. The Lord is so good. He's so merciful. This message right here is kind of was brought by the trumpet blower of another prophetess. And I'm bringing this forward for her um, through media so it can be shown because she can't. But let me tell you something else. The same message that she was given, I was given this morning. The same exact chapter. The same exact chapter. So this ain't nothing but confirmation. This, this, this word is urgent to the shepherds, the shepherds, the shepherds. Urgent, urgent, urgent. Okay, excuse me, I keep squinting my eyes because over this bar, this light is so bright in my eyes, okay? Um, you guys, for your own time's sake, I need you to write down Ezekiel chapter 34. I'm just going to bring the word and just that's going to be it, okay? Um, this word is urgent. Matthew chapter, my earring's falling out. Matthew chapter 18, verse 12. How think ye, if a man have a hundred sheep, and one of them be gone astray, does he not leave the ninety and nine, and goeth into the mountains, and seeketh that which is gone astray? And if so be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoiceth more over the sheep than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. Even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Daughter, tell my people, my whip is in my hands to protect my people from evil beasts. I will last strokes upon all those that have participated in the misery of my sheep. I will whip those who have taken advantage of unsuspecting sheep. I died for every lost soul, and I am the great judge judging between cattle and cattle. My sheep are crying out to me for justice, and that they shall have. You have thrust out my sheep and called them bastards so that they will appear as a snare to the world. Even I had mercy upon Cain. When I sent him out of my presence, I did not disown Cain. This is your warning. Get it right. Bring my sheep back home for justice lies at the door. That means repent so he could relent. Hallelujah. Genesis 4 and 9. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried out unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out of this day from the face of the earth, and from the face shall I be hid, and I shall be fugitive, a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east Eden. The Lord is warning shepherds that he is not pleased with their lording over his sheep. Sheep mismanagement is one of the most volatile, treacherous things a shepherd can do in the sight of the Lord. A manipulating, controlling shepherd is the same as a wolf in a God's eyes. A strong punishment is in God's hand for those who have let people walk into their doors as a house of the Lord and not properly cared for his sheep. In my Bible, it, the, the heading was uh, judgment to the oppressive shepherds. I, I, I think it, 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 that was it. But I'm telling you something. God is so good. I'm, I'm, I was, when she sent me that, I was just amazed. I'm like, I just saw it. This is the same, the same exact message. The same exact message. So you guys, Ezekiel chapter 34, on your own time, let's be in prayer. Let's be in prayer. We are in an hour of judgment. And let me tell you, you can't do that. It should nothing be going on but prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting, prayer and fasting. 
People wondering why I look so thin. Pray and fasting. Pray and fasting. Okay? Yeah, work was a oppressive deal or ordeal too. <laughs> but pray and fasting. Prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. All right, you guys, you guys be blessed. Um, let's pray for the shepherds. Let's pray for grace and mercy. Let's pray that this word get out and they would repent. Okay? I love you guys. See you in this video. Thanks.